Whoa, the lighting is on high. Hey guys, I'm still waving to our audience. That's what we do every time when I do this video a live stream on YouTube, on Facebook, and on Twitter. Hey guys, hi everyone. Echo here. Welcome back to I Chongqing's channel. Today's live stream is about Chongqing's aim of building an international consumption center city, which is a big strategy of China. Chongqing is the only Middle Western city that was listed on, along with Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Tianjin. I'm in the fancy cruise on Yangtze River and uh, Jialing River. Yeah, presenting you the magnificent night view of Chongqing. Joining us today is my friend Mark. He is walking around in the city center of Milan right now. So, Mark, hi. Please hey, tell us hi. a little about yourself and where you are and what are you going to show us today, okay? Mm -hmm, sure. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, Hello. It's a pleasure to thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be connected with you tonight. And uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, so, it's an amazing view. Yeah. <laughs> I miss Chongqing so, yeah. a lot. Yeah. Wow. Look at behind me. This is the. Uh, see that? Raffle City. <laughs> Forgive me on my hair. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Just. Never mind. Just continue your uh, introduction of yourself. Okay, Mark? I'm mm -hmm. showing yeah, our sure. audience the night view. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Echo. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. I mean, to be connected digitally. Um, yeah. I miss Chongqing a lot because um, I was based in Chongqing before the pandemic. Uh, and I've been in Milan for the past two years, uh, more than two years. Uh, wow. and, uh, I'm, I'm from Milan. I'm from here. Uh, but before, yeah. before the pandemic, I was, uh, I'm still a PhD candidate in uh, Chongqing University. So that's why I, I'm linked to, to Chongqing and uh, especially with Chongqing University. I love the city. Uh, as you can see now, it's uh, breathtaking, especially at night in uh, like uh, Chaotianmer or Raffles City or everywhere else in the city. Uh, and um, Elko tonight just asked me to be connected to show you around a little bit of Milan. Uh, and I'm very proud to uh, to be connected and uh, to show you a little bit of Milan from the streets of Milan. Thank you. And uh, Mark is a PhD candidate in business uh, administration at Chongqing University, right? With research on the topic of tourism management. And um, previously, Mark is working in Milan for like non-profit organizations dealing with Chinese investments with Italy and Sino-Italian relations. Um, I heard that there is like a book uh, is releasing from you, right, Mark? Yeah, I'm, I'm working on a book, yes. I'm working on a book on, um, on Chongqing uh, with, uh, with the Galilei, Galileo Galilei Italian Institute, which is a research center uh, in uh, Chongqing University, uh, thanks to the oh. cooperation with the uh, Santana School of Advanced Studies of Pisa. They have a very uh, close relationship uh, that lasted, mm -hmm. that was launched uh, like 14 years ago. And um, oh. because of that, yes, our, our goal is to, uh, to write uh, that book together with the Chinese, uh, Chinese people that are working for the Galilei in, uh, in Chongqing and to show mm -hmm. Chongqing to the world. To show the um, the, mar the city of marvels, the, the spicy city, to the Italian audience and also to the wow. European audience. Yes, because mm -hmm. I think I mean not only from a touristic uh, point of view, but Chongqing has a lot to offer, and uh, that's why I chose Chongqing for my PhD, and uh, that's why I fall in love with Chongqing. Um, and so I'm I'm doing that. Yes, I got that little project with the Galilei Italian Institute, and. Uh, Basically, every two weeks, I commute from Milan to Pisa because my, my Chinese supervisor um, gave me, uh, is a friend of uh, Santana. So, they, so basically, I, I have a desk in Santana and also they have a, a Confucius Institute, which is one of the, I think, 11 or 12 Confucius Institute in Italy. So they have a very long and lasting uh, friendship 
and a very good relationship with, uh, with Chongqing University and Chongqing. Oh, so thank you, Mark. And I'm switching the camera so that you guys can see this beautiful, splendid <coughs> view in the two rivers and four banks of Chongqing. Okay, so. <coughs> um, here comes our first part. We are doing this live stream because for those who are not familiar with this city, look at this. This is the uh, Chongqing Opera. See that? The Opera House there. You see? Yeah. See that? So beautiful there, the lighting. And I think we are on this, the, this best time of appreciating the light, night view of Chongqing today in a day. Um, for those who are not familiar with this city, Chongqing is the biggest municipality in southwestern China and has over 30 million of population. 30 million of population, yeah. Um, in 2020, in 2020 the, globaliza the globalization and world city study group and network ranked Chongqing as one of the better level cities worldwide. Um, I think Mi Milan is like the alpha level cities worldwide yeah really a big city um in 2021 the total retail sales in Chongqing increased by 18.5 percent year on year ranking third among all provinces of China so this city has like a really strong consumption wow look at the bridge wow see that do you know which which bridge is this? That's Hongya Cave, Hongya Dong. Um, the, the 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 reason that I say this, I promote these informations about Chongqing is like is because this city has like a strong consumption potential to drive economic development. So today I'm going to talk about how this city is striving to promote the tourism and what we can do in the next step to make the city greater as a real international metropolis. That's the topic that I want to talk about with my friend Mark. So where are you, Mark? Yeah, so basically now I'm a very uh, historical and uh, yeah. ancient place so I mean mm -hmm. I can show you I can switch the camera and uh, yeah. I go to settings yeah so, um, I can do it right now yes okay so I can start and sorry I need to wear a mask for safety reasons I'm gonna wear it now thank you and thank um, you, Mark. basically wow. so this is a very old uh, church in Milan. It's called wow, wow. St. Lawrence uh, wow. Church. Yeah. And uh, what, what I like most is the, like the, the colonnade you can see in front of the church. And this is a very nice place to like, um, have, a, have, a, have a bit of Milan to relax uh, on the weekends, to share some good times with your friends. And uh, I really like this place because um, it's, um, it's not far from the city center. Um, it's uh -huh. very historical and it's part of the uh -huh. it's part of the the old the ancient Rom Roman city center um, wow. and also you can see um, you can see uh, at the end of the colonnade there's a there's a there's a medieval door uh -huh. a medieval uh -huh. gate which uh -huh. yeah. um, because Milan basically has I mean has a very ancient story has a very ancient history of a thousand of years and it has yeah. been developed uh, by circles. So basically, uh -huh. uh, you have at the center, you have the Rom the Roman center. Oh. Uh, and then you have the medieval Milan. And in front of uh -huh. us, now you can see the, like the medieval ancient, uh, um, like gate. Uh, and then also at the end of the, of the, of the, of the road, okay, at the end mm -hmm. of the road, you can see there's another gate, which is mm -hmm. a more modern. Um, and, wow. uh, it was built during uh, the 19th century. So I don't know if wow. you can see it now. There's a car in front of me, sorry. Um, yeah, but I, I, you can, can see, see the, this I is very, you know, very ancient, yeah. very historical. Yeah. And then yeah. also in the middle of the gate, um, uh -huh. there's the 
uh, my favorite means of transportation in Milan, which is the, the tram. Uh, and the tram is very convenient because Milan is not yeah. a oh. super big city. I mean, it's much smaller yeah. than Chongqing. Uh, uh -huh. But when, when you take the tram, you can easily go through the city center and you can, mm -hmm. you can also enjoy the view, you know? So I'm gonna go back to the to the columnade. Okay. So Yeah. Yeah. So thank you, Mark. Thank um you know? thank you, Mark. Thank you for introducing us this. I have a question you for you about Chongqing. Mm -hmm. So guys. Can you see? Can you still hear me? Can you still see you what I'm presenting right now? Okay, Mark is with us again. Hi, Mark. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> it's okay. I can see you. The I gotta say, the weather in yeah, Milan is so splendid. So splendid. Sorry. Yes. So, so can you see these are these are the columns yeah uh, behind no, me I can see, you know I can see, and then I can see if you, you see behind see. me there's the the church uh -huh. this oh, is the, yeah. it's one of my favorite churches in milan it's very beautiful uh -huh. it's very whole yeah and in front uh -huh. and behind me there's the tram oh yeah wow i like the train wow it's re really like a yeah today is a beautiful uh, day definitely yes yeah yeah and I have a question for you, Marco. Um, so you've, you've been like living in Chongqing and studying in Chongqing. So what's your impression about this city's features about um, consumption or tourism? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Marco? Can you hear me? Hi. Hey guys. No, it is a tram, not a train. Don't miss a fashion show in Milan. Yeah, of course. Hi, Mark. How's your life in Milan? Yeah, our chef editor is greeting to our friend, and uh, he will be back in a few minutes. It's the connecting problem, and still we can enjoy and appreciate this magnificent view of the uh, two rivers in four banks in Chongqing. You know, so keep keep on, guys. Keep on. Um, supporting us by liking and sharing this live stream video. Subscribe to our channel. Okay. Okay. Mark is on. Let me just add our. Yes, I'm back. Friend. Okay. Yes, I'm so back. Can you hear Sorry, me? Sorry, there was some Mark? connection problems. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We, we, yes, we, yes, I can. I can hear you perfectly. Can yes. hear you. Okay. So, Mark, um, what's your impression about Chongqing's um, features of the uh, consumption or the tourism? So you clearly you know Chongqing, right? Very very well. Um, you've seen the Hong Ya Dong and you recognize it. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, what's your impression about Chongqing's consumption mm -hmm. or yes. the uh, tourism? Yeah. Can you can you answer my question? Can you hear me? Um, you know, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, sure, yeah, you know, um, I've lived in Chongqing, I lived in Chongqing for almost two years, so mm -hmm. I, I had the chance, yes, sure, sure, yes, 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 I can hear you, yes, um, so I'm moving now to the city center to show you a little bit more of the, of the, on the main square, Basically, uh -huh. I lived in Chongqing for almost two years, so yeah. it was a long time, and uh, I could I could like uh, learn a lot from the city. Um, so, what do you, what, you uh, what's your favorite part? What's your favorite spot or place when you touring touring around yeah, in this so, city uh, in Chongqing? Yes. 
Yeah, so I lived in uh, Shopping Bachu in the uh, Shopping Bachu oh. district because uh, my room was uh, in uh, near the Chongqi University campus. Uh, but uh, my favorite places were definitely um, Ya Onyadong for sure, but also Nambilu, yeah. uh, Nambilu, uh, because the boulevard is beautiful at night, and uh, you can see the skyscrapers in a uh, in a uh, Yuzhong district, and then also Guayin Xiao uh, for like so. Uh, Mm, there were, I mean, there's a lot of restaurants there, uh, movie theaters, um, you know. And uh, but what what one mm, I think that Chongqing uh, has, I mean, is a very unique city because um, it's it mixes uh, the history uh, and it was also the the former capital of China. It was a capital of China for a uh, short time during the the war, um, and also uh, I mean also the environmental. Uh, sceneries, uh, the sceneries around Chongqing are beautiful. As you can see tonight, you know, in Hong Yadong, you have yeah. a beautiful view, um, but yeah. also you have, you know, like uh, the rivers, you got the mountains and then you got the hills. So Chongqing friends always says that uh, Chongqing, there are mountains, there are rivers. So it's very, um, the, the, what you see, the scenery is very, is various. Uh, you can see a lot of interesting places and beautiful places. Um, I mean, it's very different from I lived. I lived in Beijing for for eight months, uh, yeah. a long time ago in uh, 2013. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I mean, in China, everything changes very fast. Mm -hmm. So it was like a, an era. It was an era ago. Uh, and uh, but I, to, uh, Beijing is uh, is huge, and sometimes you can get lost in Beijing because uh, you need so much time to reach. Uh, one part of the city from another part of the city, so it takes it can take like hours. You need to stay on the subway for hours, and you can uh, get tired, get lost. But in Chongqing, I mean, the city center. You said before that the municipality has more than 30 million people, but the urban center of Chongqing, central mm -hmm. Chongqing, is a uh, is not is not as huge as Beijing. So you can and also the infrastructures. You are building uh, are getting better and better, so yeah. there are new opportunities for for tourists, for so for students, you know, for businessmen. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I when I arrived to Chongqing, it was like uh, uh, like four years ago, and uh, in front of um, Chongqing University, they, they were they were building a new subway line, mm -hmm. uh, and then they opened it, and when they opened the new subway line in front of Chongqing University, basically that thing changed my life because. Uh, it was much easier to go to, to, to visit some places uh, more convenient and uh, you're, you're doing better uh, mm -hmm. months after months, year after year. Uh, also, there are new uh, tourism destinations in the city center, yeah. but not also yeah. in the city center, also around, you know, the, around the city. Chongqing is much more than simply the urban central Chongqing. You can, you can go to like Wulong or you can go to Fully young, or you yeah, can go to yeah. many other urban centers to one Joe. You you can go to many urban centers that um, are something still maybe little known by like uh, foreign students or by foreign tourists. So you have many opportunities, and also you got the three gorges. Now you are on a beautiful cruise, and mm -hmm. from the Chatenman, yeah. uh, you yeah, can you I can choose. take a cruise, and you can go directly yeah. to the to visit yeah. the three gorges. So yeah. I choose this cruise. This cruise is called the Yangtze River Chao Tianmen Moon. Um, it's the English mm -hmm. name of it. Uh, in, in Chinese, we call this um, Chang Hang, Chao Tian Hao Yue. You know, the Hao Yue is like the uh, brightest moon um, in Chinese. So, this cruise ship was named after the Chao Tianmen, the landmark of Chongqing. I choose this cruise because uh, in this route, in this route of the cruise, we can appreciate the stunning view of two rivers, which is the uh, Yangtze River and the Jiali River, you know, and four banks in Chongqing. We have, you know, this this one is the, the uh, Jiepang Bay area, and that over there is the uh, Chao Tianmen area. And, that one is the uh, Jiangbeizui area, and that one is the uh, Danzi Shi and Changjiahui, Longmenhao area. These four areas 
um, constructed as like four banks of the two rivers. Oh, so, wow, I can, I can, I can hear somebody is saying. <laughs> somebody is asking us questions. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, continue. Let's continue our talking. I'm presenting you this two rivers and four banks conception because Chongqing has two rivers, uh, the Yangtze River and the Yangtze River and the Jialing River. Um, they cut this city as separate parts and made the city very unique scenarios with both banks of the river. So the government partitioned these banks and the relative parts are Chao Tianmen area, Jiefang Bay area, and uh, um, uh, Jiang Bei Zui area, and Dan Zishi, Longmen Hao area. Which area, each area has, each area has its own history and code features, like you talk, mentioned about, you know, we have like um, landmarks in the Jiang Bei, in the, um, Okay, here comes our second round of the cruise, you know, tourism. A tourists were like coming up on the cruise ship right now. Beautiful, okay. <laughs> Somebody is say is nice. Oh yeah, hi. Hey guys. Hi, say hello to our audience. My goodness. Hi, my goodness. Hey guys. We are doing this to are uh, presenting you about how Chongqing is making effort of building an international consumption center city. Do you know this conception? Do you know this um, idea of Chongqing's strategy? Do you know this, Michael? Haha, ha, Echo, you need to confirm you know your the... nationality to your fans. To your fans. Okay, guys. Um, I will say this again. Okay, my name is Echo because Echo is like the uh, uh the pronunciation of Japanese of my Chinese name. I'm uh, I'm Chinese. Okay, guys. I use this name because it's cute, it's short, it's easy to remember, but I'm not Japanese, I'm Chinese, okay? <laughs> Guys, okay, Marco, where are you now? Yeah, I wanted to show you um, another uh, less known square in Milan. Uh, it's called Piazza uh, St. Alexander Square. Um, and I can turn the, the camera. So it's beautiful. I like it because um, uh, you find it very, I mean, it's not, it's not as known as the other one, you know, the, the Duomo uh, square, wow. square, but the wow. view is beautiful. Yeah. And, Wait a minute, yeah, yeah, let's yeah, take it's... a screenshot. It's so amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. the square is beautiful. Yeah, wow. Yeah, you know, we, we got the two examples of, we have uh -huh. Hongyadong from one side, yeah. and we have the, yeah. the, the yeah. tourist and destination with Chinese yeah. characteristics, you know? Yeah. So and then amazing. you have the Italian one. Yeah. And yeah. tell us a little bit about this architecture, okay, Marco? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you so tell us a little bit about this architecture? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, this is very, very, um, it's not far from the Duomo Square, uh, mm -hmm. but it's a Catholic church, can you see? Um, yeah. And uh, the, the, the one thing I like about this square is that in inside the square there are many bars you know and then especially at night uh -huh. you can you can drink some wine you know you can drink some wine relax wow. and also wow. in front of us in front of us there's the uh -huh. um the the uh the, for, the the faculty of foreign languages so uh -huh. that building in front of us it's the foreign languages uh, college of uh, the university of milan so in front uh -huh. of us now there are many students that probably maybe they're studying also chinese so yeah. for, for their career, for their for for the university, um, and what I what it um, I mean Rome Rome and Milan are very different places um, because in Rome everything is uh, you know is manifested. So there's yeah. there is the Colosseum and then there are the um, you know the imperial uh, buildings and mm -hmm. palaces. But in Milan, if you want if you truly wanna find a nice place, uh, you need mm -hmm. to discover it. So you need to make an effort. Oh, so that's the difference. Wow. 
Yeah. That's the charm of it. I think that's the charm of the city, right? You have yeah, yeah, to it's very different. Explore it by yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I love, yes. I love the way. I love the way you describe the city, describe of the tourism mm -hmm. in the city. And I'm really, mm -hmm. I, and I know that Milan is a city that famous for its arts collection, uh, world level mm -hmm. design, cultural exchange, and like historical mm -hmm. heritages and well developed economy. And yes. as a city that is already, already an international consumption center, a really mm -hmm. great natural police. What experience of Milan do you think is the most special? I'm sorry for the chaos yeah, yeah. The, on the background. I'll, I, I'm going to ask again. What, what experience yeah, I got of it. Milan? Uh, what experience of Milan do you think is the most special for Tokyo mm -hmm. to learn from? Yeah, you know that. Yes, I know that Chongqing has also a fashion week. Uh, mm -hmm. That is a very, very fashionable and unique yeah. city. So we can we have many things that we, we can develop together for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, starting from fashion to uh, to, for example, Milan. Uh, Milan has a opera house, La Scala, uh -huh. which is famous all uh -huh. over the world. And I know that what you showed before, uh, you have also very beautiful and uh, very, very new, brand new opera house uh, near near the uh, Chao Tien Men. So, uh, and then also in Sichuan and in Chongqing, you have a special, mm -hmm. you know, opera, right? You have the Sichuan opera, so you have something very characteristic. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And in yeah. Milan, we have, yeah, we have La Scala. So we, we can develop many things from, you know, from cultural, uh, from a cultural mm -hmm. level to a fashion level, uh, like to an investment level. Um, and uh, this is, I can show you another square. I'm moving wow. through, I'm moving to the, the main square of Milan, the Duomo mm -hmm. square now, I'm very near. Yeah. So this, yeah. is, um, this is another uh, important Whoa. square because in this square, yeah. you, you know, many important roads are connected there. Um, you know, and wow. in front of us, there's a tram, you know, there's the yeah. means of transportation I was talking about. So it goes directly oh. to the to the dome square in that direction. Oh. Um, oh, so, so this, so is these are this all is. very old okay. buildings, like the wow. uh, like there were banks in the in the past, or very high level high level hotels. You know, for example, mm -hmm. the one in front of us, the one. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And so, as like a architectural student, yes. what's and, uh, the most? What so now you, I'm going like to bring you to the. The main square of Milan, okay, which wow. is the, the, Dom, the Duomo Square. Wow. We just need to walk for like uh, five minutes and we will be there. So how long uh, of, the, of these histories of the... Hi, Marco. Can you tell us how long of these histories of these architectures in this area? Do you think? So I'm crossing the road. I hope I won't be. Okay, I'm crossing the road, moving closer to the to the Duomo uh, Square. Okay, here comes Marco. Yeah. Is continue his journey on Milan and. Uh, Guys, please support us by liking and sharing and super subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram, okay? I'm doing this on the really fancy cruise on the Yangtze River and the Jiling River. These rivers cut the city into like separate parts so that we can appreciate very different scenarios in this city. Can you see that, guys? There is a monorail driving across the river under the, you know, the upper, uh, the the download, the the download down below side of the uh, bridge. See that? This is the monorail driving across the river. See that? Can you see that, Marco? Yeah, sure. It's very famous. You know the. The twin bridges, you know? Yeah. So, um, Marco, can you tell us about, um, a little bit about the history about the area that you are working in? Mm -hmm. So basically, um, so now I'm, I'm going 
uh, I'm going to the city, to the real center of Milan, to the most iconic part of the city. Wow. Uh, you know, Milan has, has uh, is a, like a, uh, a it has a thousand years old history. Uh, it has like uh, gone through many wars, many battles, many conquerors, uh, yeah. many dominations in the past. Uh, we have been for the Romans, uh, and then we also, um, with Milan was also the capital of the of the Western, um, or half half of the of the uh, Roman Empire uh, yeah. for for a certain period of time. And we also witnessed many uh, many like. Uh, um, many people that came to our land and conquered us, like we had the, the Spanish, and then we also have the French. We also had the Austrian. They were the like the landlord, that they owned the kind of like the. Um, and then, but but our city has always been inno innovative, and always reinvented itself, and we always we have always created new opportunities. Uh, so like now, for example. And we, yeah. we have also seen in the whole history of our city many, many masterpieces. So uh, as you can see in front yeah. of me, there's a masterpiece that you can see. Yeah. And uh, this is the cathedral. So now we wow. have the, the tram in front of us, but wow. after the tram so disappears, the, we're going to have so the cathedral. This is the tram, not the train, right? I yeah. Just, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the it's tram. A tram. Okay, tram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, it's a it's a light train on the surface, and here you can see the cathedral. Cathedral, cathedral. Is it like yeah. a church? Yes, it's a big one. It's a it's the wow. third biggest cathedral in the world, I think, after wow. the Saint Peter Cathedral in Rome, uh -huh. and also after uh -huh. the Saint Paul Cathedral in London. Okay. So this is the the most iconic, the most iconic symbol of our city. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, wow. and this is this is Duomo this Square. Is... So this is the center of our city. Yes. Wow, this is so magnificent. So amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And in front of us, you know, you got the gallery. The gallery, we're going to go there. So I'm going to show you yeah. some some shops, you know, and some luxury brands. Um, okay. but uh, this is this is a masterpiece, you know. This is a masterpiece and then on yeah. the left side, on that side, there's the, yeah. the Royal Palace. Wow. So we're gonna go there after after our tour to yeah, okay. drink a coffee together. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. So amazing. So this. See this. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the, the Duomo Square. Yes. So the, uh, and also when I was younger, I had the pleasure mm -hmm. to host a delegation from Chongqing from Chongqing municipality. Mm -hmm. I worked yeah. for the municipality of Milan. My office yeah. was there. You know, in that building. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was very, I was very lucky. So we, I work in the foreign, foreign, foreign affairs department. So we hosted a delegation from Chongqing municipality, and uh, it was like, uh, it was like uh, eight years ago, and it was great. As you can see, you know, there's a, there are many, many tourists. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So beautiful. Um, so beautiful. Yeah, and I wish the, I was. I wish you know, I'm here, there. I wish I'm there. God. Yeah, you know this this week. Uh, I mean, last week there was the fashion week. Mm -hmm. uh, so there were on the streets, like everywhere, there were mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful girls walking, taking pictures, making yeah. like uh, uh, recording videos. And uh, but this is this is the center, the, the true center of Milan. And now I'm I'm bringing you to the gallery. You know, the gallery in front of us. There is a gallery. You know, um, okay. you know it's a. Uh, so basically, what I wanted to say before is that uh, mm -hmm. Milan, as you as you said, is a. I think I can say that it's the financial, economic, but also yeah. it's becoming very important for uh, for culture, uh, yeah. for also um, for the publishing houses. Many many publishing houses are here in the city center. Mm -hmm. Uh, they mm -hmm. have their headquarters in Milan. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. of course, the fashion industry, of course, the luxury industry, but also mm -hmm. Milan is very important for the academia. It's an academic oh. academic center. So uh -huh. um, the innovations, the researches, uh, yeah. the, some of the most important universities are, are located in Milan. Yeah. And uh, yeah. 
Yes. And I and you I, know this know this gallery was yeah. bombed during wow. during the Second World War. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is the gallery. This is so amazing. And it's called. Yeah, Look and you know, here there are many, many wow. fashion brands, you know, like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I, you know. I know that there are a lot of like international exports in Milan, like the uh, yeah. fashion weeks, like, like the uh -huh. uh, movie, yes. like the film weeks, like uh, this, all of these are uh, really uh, world level brands. Uh, design exposed mm -hmm. yes. uh, in Milan. So I think, um, yes. I think it's really important to, um, you know, make people to come to this city. Uh, like in Chongqing, we, we wanted to attract um, more people, not just the uh, tourists, but also more people to come to Chongqing to explore the culture and exchange the culture and the history and all this um, technology and uh, science there. So I think mm -hmm. it's really, yes. uh, it's a long way to go. It takes time for Chongqing to build. Wow, just look at the sailing, so amazing. Can you show yeah, us but... the sailing for a little bit longer? Wow. Yeah, sure, so sure, amazing. yes. Yeah, so amazing. I, I know that, I know that, Eiko and, uh, but I think that Chongqing is doing great. Chongqing is doing mm -hmm. great. Yeah. We are doing a lot, yeah. we're investing a lot. Yeah. You have many, many well-prepared people and uh, you're trying to attract uh, like uh, talents. So you're doing great. And I'm very confident on Chongqing's development. Yes. Yeah, we have we have a lot of like, uh, we have more international export that were located mm -hmm. in Chongqing right now, like the Smart mm -hmm. China Export, like some uh, really important cultural and yes. uh, uh, financial export in Chongqing. So I think it, it's like a really big chance for Chongqing. Uh -huh. to build a really uh, international metropolis yes. so, in the uh, future. Uh, Eiko, I, I want to answer to Catherine. Uh, hi, Catherine. Yeah. Nice to be connected mm -hmm. with you also. Thank you for inviting mm -hmm. me, Catherine. Um, yeah. So, yeah, the situation regarding the COVID situation, uh, situation is better. It's much better because uh, uh, the, the fourth wave has basically not already ended, but has been under control. So the, the symptoms and the are much much le uh, less severe than you know with the with the delta so as you can see people uh, walking around uh that they, they they stay with each other they can busy they can move around they can take flights uh so basically yeah it's under control for now yes and uh, also i want to share something with you uh catherine or echo so in front of yeah. us in front of us there's a very uh, -huh. uh so when, when you come here you must do that so there's a uh, like a painting on the on the on the on the on the floor, floor right? you yeah, know? Yeah. And that's yeah. Uh, if you do what the, this guy is doing, yes. Can you see? There's like a, a bull, uh -huh. and if you do what the what the guy is uh -huh. doing, it brings you luck. So you gotta you gotta do that. Wow. Uh, on the oh, on the yeah. on the bull's body. Yeah. Can you see? So you gotta you gotta turn around, and yeah, then it brings I, you I luck. That. So it, every time you come to Milan, wow. you can do that. Okay, I'm definitely gonna do that. And is that snakes <laughs> yeah, yeah. there? Is that snakes on the yeah. on the floor? Is that snakes? Oh no no, it's like a floor. it's like a bull. Yes, it's a bull. I'm gonna show you. Okay. Yes. A so there's a bull. Oh. Uh, what what the girl what the girl is oh. yes what the girl is doing is not fair for the bull, <laughs> but you know it's. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So I wanna. Uh, I'm gonna bring you. So I wanna bring dog, you. Right? Yeah, sure. Yes. So I want to show you around. This is like the very fashionable uh, part of the city. You know, it's uh, you got Prada and then you got Louis Vuitton and then you have yeah. Prada around and then. But I want to show you another interesting touristic place in Milan because you, we, we discussed the Opera House in Chongqing. You know, you said that there's the Opera. It's a very beautiful and new building, new Opera House. But I want to show you yeah. also the the Milanese Opera House, which is called La Scala, and is one of the oldest in Europe, is one of the most famous in the world. Uh, cool. And uh, I'm walking to the, I'm walking to the La Scala, yes. Good. Okay, great. Cool. Wow. Yes, just a few seconds, and you're gonna we're gonna go to the 
we're going to be in front of the mayor building, you know, where the mayor works every day, which is called Palazzo Marino on the right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then in front of us, there's the there's La Scala, the Opera House. Wow. Can you see that, that one? That's the Opera oh, House. That one with the red... Um, yes. On it? Yeah, La Scala. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the um, mm -hmm. this is the building where the the mayor of Milan works, and he just mm -hmm. he just come back from China. You know, oh. he was in he was in Beijing. Uh huh. Uh, he was in Beijing for the Olympics, for the Winter Olympics, and now he's already back oh, to, yeah. to Milan. Milan is going to host the next Winter Olympics. So, do you have any, yes. any expectation about that? Sure, I'm very, I'm very optimistic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. You know, you know, Aiko, uh, it's very, yeah. it's very cool that in 20, 2010, yeah. Milan hosted mm -hmm. the international exposition oh, and yeah. then in 2015 sorry sorry mm -hmm. shanghai shanghai hosted the international exposition yeah, shanghai. and then yeah, shanghai. yes yes and then five years later milan was the host of the international expeditions oh. so we had a special connection you know and yeah, now yeah it's the same you have beijing in 2022 and then you have mm -hmm. milan again in 2026 yeah, yeah, it's like a heritage, really. A, yes. Um, amazing yeah, heritage, so, really a connection. Yeah, so we we can learn we can learn a lot from your experience, and we can share mm -hmm. common practice, best practices, mm -hmm. and the, our I mean, our cities are are connected. Yeah. Have you ever watched the uh, eight minutes video on the uh, the performance on the oh, closing ceremony of the Beijing Winter Olympics on the um, oh, yeah, yeah. Milan? I think that's so yes. amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful. The, the, yeah. the Milan's yeah. eight minutes, so beautiful. So this is basically okay. This is the Scala, the Opera House, which oh. was renovated some years ago. Okay. And uh, then there's the, does it, the. Does it have? Does it has like a um, performance today or tonight? Oh, maybe. Yes, maybe. Uh, probably. <laughs> I will. I will go there. I will go in front of the, the main entrance and I will show you. Okay. See that, guys? Um, Marco is presenting us the uh, re really uh, magnificent opera house in Milan. And on the Chongqing side, we are presenting you this Rafa cities and uh, really, really uh, splendid riverside river views in Chongqing. See that? This is the uh, Rafa cities in Chongqing. I really like the architecture. Have you ever visited this? architecture this beauty in Chongqing this one hi Marco can you hear me yes I love that uh Raffle City is beautiful yes yeah oh see the light yeah so this is like uh all my Italian friends and here you can see the what you have in La Scala this 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 oh. semester probably yeah this the okay. program you know so this oh, is the yeah. Teatro La Scala which is the name of the opera house okay. and then you got the season and then you have all the mm -hmm. opportunities so you can mm -hmm. can come here and uh, buy the tickets mm -hmm. and then you can you can see the shows and they're like the ball balletto balletto means like a there's like mm -hmm. dance and then they got music and then uh, you can see a lot of are from Giuseppe Verdi. You know, he was a very famous Italian uh, director of orchestra, orchestra director. Uh, okay. You know, and here there's the the famous entrance. So you got you got this is the program. So on the on the walls, you got you I can like find the, the programs. Poster. The poster yeah, is cool. Yeah. I really like the poster yeah. design of it. This is the this is the, uh, the these are the the colors of Milan. It's like a, oh. a white and red. Yes. Oh yeah, just like those those, those flags on the uh, the football mm -hmm. team of Milan. Yes, yes. Yeah. So now I, yeah, you, I think you you said perfectly right. So we are showing mm -hmm. the audience very two different mm -hmm. uh, urban centers, you know, but yeah. they they can yeah. be they can be very fascinating both. They can both be, yeah. be very fascinating, and they yeah. can offer very yeah. different 
very different uh, kind of touristic center, but they are all very, very fascinating and beautiful. And uh, of course, Chongqing is beautiful with his like Chinese yeah. characteristics. Milan has its own uh -huh. European characteristics. Yeah, I can still see many people walking on the street and uh, having their times on the street. So, can you tell us what's the uh, the most um, consumption behavior of people in mm -hmm. Milan? In, is it like yeah, you know. uh, enjoying the food or shopping mm -hmm. or um, cultural exchange or going to travel? What do you think is the most Lego, Lego, important Lego. consumption Lego. behavior? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I mean, if Milan is the second biggest uh, city in uh, in Italy, you know, so yeah. it has yeah. 1.4 million people. I mean, it's, it's nothing compared to Chinese cities, but it's already a lot for, for Italy. And if you, see, if you look at the metropolitan area, metropolitan area, you have almost like 7, 8 million people. So you have a lot of possible, you have a lot of consumers that can, but you know, the what they like to do is can vary a lot. So you have many mm -hmm. people, but mm -hmm. you know, um, the good thing about Milan is that the city can offer many, many options. So it can be mm -hmm. like, as I said before, the fashion center of the north, northern yeah. part of Italy. Yeah. It can be like the uh, touristic center. It can be like, uh, uh, like any other European cities, any other European centers. It can offer a lot. So if you have the opportunity, you can come here, you can have a cultural activity, so you can go to La Scala, and then you can go to the city center and have a very delicious uh, dinner in the, in the gallery or somewhere else. Then you can, you can visit a museum. Of course, as our friend says, they can eat pizza and gelato all the time, so you can have a mm -hmm. very nice time. Um, so um, the city offers a lot. Mm -hmm. um, what, what we like to do, I mean, as a Milanese, as a Milanian, I like to, during the weekend especially, because during the week I, I need to work, I need to be at the office. But when, I, yeah. when I'm free, when I have free time, uh, Milan is also a very important uh, agricultural uh, city center, yeah. a very, a, a agricultural yeah. center, agricultural center. Mm -hmm. So when you, we have, we have many parks, uh, we have many parks around the city, so we can go there and relax with our friends, with our families. We can have a barbecue. Uh, we can go on. Uh, yes. So I mean, there's many options. Uh, so it's um, the, the only thing that we don't have, and I miss. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. It's okay, Marco. Um, yeah. I really appreciate that. The only thing that I really miss. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that is mm -hmm. what? I'm gonna bring you to see the castle of Milan, so the medieval wow. castle. So we need to walk for like some time, like five minutes, and then we will okay. be there. Okay. While you are walking, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna share this video about about um, how Chongqing is building an international consumption center city. This one is produced sure. by I Chongqing. Yeah, so it's a perfect time for us to appreciate right now because you are walking. So maybe we can figure out from this about why this is so important for us of building Chongqing as an international consumption center city. Let's check it out, this one, okay? Guys. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Chongqing Opportunity. Today, we're going to talk about consumption. Now, I'm at the first commercial pedestrian street in Western China, which is called Jiefan Bay Pedestrian Street, where both tourists and local residents come for endless shopping. I'm wondering if you're aware that in China, consumption contributes more than 50% to national GDP growth. So let's hear some feedback to learn about their experiences. There are a lot of things in China that are much cheaper than they are in, in many other countries that I've lived in or, or visited. It's just the speed and the convenience of everything. In Chongqing, Hongyadong, you can also find a lot of souvenir shop there. Chongqing is a foot massage culture, which is really, really good quality, which you can't find anywhere else in the world, but also really, really good value. 
On July the 19th, the Ministry of Commerce announced that Shanghai, Beijing, Guangzhou, Tianjin and Chongqing have been finally selected as international consumption centre cities. In 2020, the total retail sales of consumer goods in Chongqing reached 1.178 trillion yuan, ranking third in China after Shanghai and Beijing. As a foodie person, it's great to live in such a huge city where Japanese, Thai, Italian and Mexican food is on offer whenever you have a craving. And the range of cuisine really gives you the feeling that the city is becoming more diverse. This is Raffles City, located in the golden centre of Chongqing Zhejiang District. There's a subway station here and several cruise routes on the river. There is even an airport city and railway city terminal, so it's easy to stop in Chongqing and go shopping at the same time. In Chongqing, the business centres are more dispersed. People like to shop in large malls closer to home, and Chongqing boasts the greatest number of shopping malls nationwide. There are over 60 more scheduled to open this year, far ahead of other cities. As we can see here, people haven't forgotten about these old neighbourhoods and communities. This street close to Honeybank subway station has gone viral on social networks. This street and uh, this store in particular, I think it's, it's original. It has some idea that they don't copy anyone else. So in that way, I like it. And the product itself is pretty amazing. So. Years ago, there used to be lots of farmers markets and mahjong tea houses here because it's so close to the residential communities. Nowadays, there are lots of trendy bars and cafes that have settled here, and the street has been given a new name, Little Bangkok. Great changes are expected in the near future, as construction in support of the International Consumption Centre City gathers pace. In July, Chongqing released the main work points for construction of Chongqing as an international consumption centre city in 2021. So Chongqing is ready as we eagerly await to see the city's future. We've just returned to Jiafeng Bay, and now I'm at the 5G pedestrian streets in Jiafeng Bay. This economic brain integrates big data technology from Ali and Tencent. Here, you can see how the first commercial pedestrian street in Western China is striving to achieve its future ambitions. We're looking forward to the opportunity to bring more advantages to development in the Chengdu Chongqing economic circle and to enhance the future competitiveness of Chongqing. It was very interesting, very interesting. So she was doing great. You know, yeah, I, I'm, you know, I'm in a shopping shopping street also, I'm one of the main ones. Um, yeah. So when it comes, to, yeah. So this is the ones that connects. I'm gonna switch the camera. Um, okay. This is one that connects the the cathedral, the cathedral main square, yeah. to mm -hmm. the castle, which is behind me. Now you can see this is the Corso Dante, and in this road, this road is very important for shopping. So it's a very okay. important consumption street in Chongqing. Oh. And, oh, yeah. and then, at the, you know, and then if you go out from the street, you see the castle, so the, the monument, the, the building. 
which is amazing. Mm-hmm. What is the uh, the statue there? Does it have a name? Uh, I thought, yes, so it's the statue of Garibaldi, which is the uh, basically a uh, hero for our country, which is reunified you, you, because Italy was uh, is a relatively uh, young country. He, uh, the, the kingdom of Italy was founded was like uh, in uh, 1861 because of uh, that guy, you know, the guy was called the, yeah. the hero of the two worlds because he, he fought in Latin America and then he came back to Europe and helped uh, the politicians from the north part of Italy to uh-huh. reunite the country under uh-huh. their, like, uh, their power. So wow. if, you travel, if you travel around Italy and Milan, you see many of, the, many of his statues uh, in the biggest and most important square of, of, uh, of the Italian mm-hmm. cities. So his, wow. his name is Giuseppe Garibaldi, yes. Okay, I wish I could spell it. <laughs> um, <laughs> from, oh, um, no problem. I wish I could pronounce this. It's a really beautiful name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But as you can see, there are many people like uh, oh. walking and eating and doing shopping here, having some gelato yeah. in their on their hands. Yeah. And then when we cross the road, yes, yeah. when we cross the road, we we go closer to Garibaldi statue, and then mm-hmm. behind Garibaldi statue, you can see the castle, the medieval castle oh, yeah. of, uh, of Milan. Yeah. It's one of the biggest fortress in uh, fortresses in uh, in Europe mm-hmm. and I think in the world. As you can see, it's yes. right there. Wow. Cool. Oh, I can I can cross the road. Yes. I I see these tracks. I see these tracks. So tracks down the road. So they are, mm-hmm. are like um, in Milan, right? Yes. Yeah. So these trams are like a really um how 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 do they work they use uh, the electric or mm-hmm. they they use the gas uh no they're i think they are uh partly electric maybe mm-hmm. the the newest one um yeah they, they're kind of uh, they look very old <laughs> to be honest uh, yeah. because um yeah they have been used for many decades um uh, mm-hmm. but of course there there are new projects uh, to make everything more mm-hmm. sustainable, you know, more green. So in the yeah. future, there will be there will be many changes also in the. We, for example, we have a new yeah. subway line uh, that is being built, um, and then also th- th- there are many projects to um, add more green spaces mm-hmm. all over the city. Yeah. Um, to yeah. let people, I mean, make people use less their cars and to use more uh, the means of transportation that are more sustainable. Yeah, I think that sustainable is like a really, a really a big, big issue and the most important issue of the future of the world. So, also for yes. really um, international metropolis like Chongqing and Milan, Chongqing has like a more uh, new energy uh, vehicles going on. Um, and uh, I see, and I um, I want to um, I want to show you guys uh, in the next live stream about this new energy vehicles industry in Chongqing. If you want to join us, just leave your comments down below and uh, write your questions about Chongqing's uh, sustainable energy industry, about how this city is striving to develop the uh, eco-friendly industry, okay? You know, you know, eco, I think that's Mm-hmm. Uh, from that side, uh, we, Italy, China, you know, European Union can have mm-hmm. uh, a lot of things to share. Uh, yeah. You know, the technologies, the know-how, the best practices, tra- the ecological yeah. transition is uh, maybe the new, yeah. I mean, it's one of the new challenges. Yeah, uh, and we can, the, uh, we can share a lot, so we can cooperate. Yeah, yeah. Especially mm-hmm. on the uh, yeah. architectural field, you know. Yes, wow. definitely, definitely. China, China and Italy can can learn from each other. They can develop some projects together, and uh, sure. Is it is it is it like a, uh, the statue of a uh, Maria on the wall, or some somebody else? Oh, or uh, another no, hero that's the, of the city? Uh, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this, so this is the castle, you know, the whole castle. It was, uh, it was built uh, many, many centuries ago in uh, uh, 1368. Because the like the owners of the city, like the the king, you know, of the city, they they built their own residences, and uh, you know, at that time the, the castle was a magnificent also way to uh, to show the power uh, mm -hmm. of the of the people, like they were the the leader of the city. So now we are inside, and this is the castle, you know, this is the a medieval castle, uh, perfectly. Wow. Uh, you can visit it, uh, you can see it perfectly, and there are some also museums, beautiful museums, where you can get on inside, you know. Uh, and there also, before the pandemic, there were many events inside the, the castle. And mm -hmm. also around the castle, there's the biggest, um, uh, like, public park in Milan, the Parco Sempione. Ah. Okay, uh, so this, yeah. is, this one is, like, uh, open for the uh, public all the time right yes yes yeah yeah sure yes and uh, there, there are many because, uh, yeah, artwork there. of leonardo oh, da vinci you know leonardo yeah 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 yes da vinci you know okay. yeah da vinci worked in milan for many years oh, and uh, there is also a very famous uh, da vinci museum but it's not it's not it's a little bit far from here so maybe I can show you uh, the next time. Next time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to. So are you a museum lover? Are you usually go to the museum to appreciate your art there? Yes. Yeah, yeah. When I when I travel in Milan and also also in China or Europe, I love museums, yes. And uh, you know the, the one thing that I like about Chinese museums and also in Chongqing is that mm -hmm. they use a lot of new technologies. To make yeah. the, the visit of the of the tourists more interactive, so that's a really yeah. good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can show you. Okay. I'm sorry for the the, the more uh, here because I just want to show you the the park. I want to show the park, which is uh, near. The exit is near, and also, if you look at the end of the of this road, the small road, there's like a, you know, in Paris, there is the like a monument which is famous worldwide, yeah. the Arc de Triomphe, and we yeah. have a small one. <laughs> wow! Yes, we have a small one because. Wow. Is it like the same yeah, size so, of the one in Paris? No, no, no. It's much, it's much smaller. But uh, we, we have a similar one, yes. At the end of there, I don't know if you can see it. Uh -huh. This is Parco Sempione, the, like, the public park, where many Milanese come here like to relax oh, with their yeah. dogs. It's, it's just like the park yes. in Paris in front of the monument. I, can, I think I can yes. see the monument. Yes, you're right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's right there. Yes, I wanted to show it, show it to, to the audience. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Really appreciate this. It's really yes, a. Yes, so really basically, a... This, is, this is a very pretty, pretty big park. And you still have the castle I, behind us. Yeah, I think I think that um, okay. I think Marco is your battery is good enough to support you to get through this whole live stream. I think you you might have to recharge your phone later, right? Yes, I need. I think I need a coffee <laughs> to be honest. So uh, okay. if you want, I can share a, a coffee with the audience. <laughs> so what do you think? Italian style. Great, great, great. Just walk and I can uh, get, a, get your coffee. I can get, a, I can get an espresso. Show us and show us the famous <laughs> coffee culture in Milan, in Italy. Yes. The, the, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
coffee and we can have a together an espresso so we can drink one together okay the wind here the wind in Chongqing on the cruise is really a, a big wind blowing blowing here so I think you guys can hear the sound of the rain right <laughs> Thank you so guys for the, supporting us. This is us. not a very typical Italian bar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is a special uh -huh. bar in the middle of the park. Wow. The so let's see if it's open. The, I can uh, drink something. The roof of this house yeah. is really unique. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they have some they they make some theater shows here, uh, and uh, yeah. it's very colorful. So let me check if I can get a coffee or maybe it's closed. I'm sorry, maybe it's closed. Yes, I think it's closed. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, Marco. So I I guess we can save the battery for, uh, you for your for the rest of the day because i think we can call this what is the day of our live stream today i'm gonna switch the camera and uh we can say goodbye to our fans so that you can get your coffee later okay, i really sure. appreciate yeah i really appreciate your introduction introduction today and uh i hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope we can see more live stream from Marco in Italy. And I think next time we're going to do this on pizza, right? Another yes, great city our... in Italy. Yes. Yeah. We're going to so go to guys, the Leaning Tower. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward to. So, guys, like, share, and subscribe to our channel, on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, on Twitter. And remember to check out uh, Marco's website. I think. His book. Uh, are you gonna uh, mention your book on your website? Uh, it's gonna be published this year, but uh, we need uh, to finish it. So it takes okay. some months. Yes. Okay. By the okay, end of the let's... year, it's gonna be mm. available. Okay. Let's uh, stay tuned. Okay. Stay tuned and uh, looking forward to Marco's new book, his new research. <laughs> See you guys next time. Thank you, Marco. Really appreciate this. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.